tutorials. Um, on this tutorial, I want to show you how to make your subject's eyes pop. Um, right now, I have a picture completely unedited, straight out of the camera um, photo of my daughter Vivian. And um, she has the most beautiful eyes. Sometimes um, when we are outside, they look more blue. Um, when she was little, they, they were pretty much blue. Um, but I've felt like over the last year or so they've kind of changed to more of like this kind of greenish gray color. Um, anyway, so I'm going to show you how to make the eyes pop um, in two different ways. So the first way that I'm going to show you is um, by using Camera Raw. Um, it is a filter within the Photoshop program and then the second way is I'm going to show you how to quickly do this using our um, Urban Rhino Photoshop actions. So to use Camera Raw, we'll do that one to start. Um, I usually make a duplicate layer um, of my photo. So I just copied that there, duplicated that. If you go up to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, um, it brings the image up in this you know new um, screen here. And if you go over all the way to where it says adjustment brush, um, that will allow you to make adjustments to your photo in just one area. So, or, or areas that you, um, that you pinpoint basically. So if I just want to make her eyes stand out, I can do that. If I want to change her skin tone, I can do that. If I want to blur the background. So similar things that you can do in, um, in just the regular Photoshop setting. Um, but this, in my opinion, makes it um, a lot easier to focus just on certain areas. So usually I'll zoom in um, a little bit. And like I said, you can see she's it's completely unedited. She's got little scratches on her face and whatever. She's still as cute as can be. Um, I'm going to go to Adjustment Brush again. Pull that up. Um, if you zoom in and out, it usually clicks off of the Adjustment Brush. So just keep that in mind. Um, and... There are a lot of things that you can do here. So this is also how I change eye color um, in some of our character photos. Um, so for instance, uh, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head. Um, there's a couple where, you know, even though her eyes are kind of a little more lean on the green side. So for instance, when she was Elsa, we made sure her eyes were very blue. Um, when she was Anna, I made them more of a bluish green. Um, she's had even kind of purpley eyes before, so um, the lighter eye color versus my other daughter, Olivia, her eyes that are dark brown, um, those are harder to change. Um, so anyway, to do this, um, you want to figure out what settings you want here. And the nice thing is um, when you go over your eye, so I'll, right to start, I'm going to go over just the the eye itself. Obviously that's crazy right now. I, I still, by default, your previous settings will come up. So I must have been changing, um, you know, on the last photo, I think I was doing the Joker and I was changing the um, eye color to brown. Um, so I'm on the ad right now. This little um, pin here, this red pin shows you you know where you're working if you don't like that if it's in your way you can click off of the overlay right there and it'll get rid of it if you want to see the areas that you've gone over if you click mask obviously I'm not keeping in this color um, but you can see you know and if you need to pick up a little bit more um, down here if you scroll down um, the size of your brush you can adjust that or you can just hit the plus or minus on your keyboard you can choose to feather the edge so if you want it to be, you know, stand out in the middle and then be more, um, you know, kind of feather the edges of the color that you're doing or if you're blurring something or whatever. Oop, that's too big. My brush is too big. Um, I'm just trying to get this very outer a little bit. That should be sufficient. Um, so <laughs> right now she looks like she has brown eyes. She looks like her sister. Um, let me zoom back in here. And... So now that I've zoomed in and out, when I go back to the adjustment brush, it's going to, by default, create a new adjustment. And I want to make sure that I'm still correcting that first adjustment I made. So go back to overlay, make sure that that's selected, and click back on that pin, and that will allow you to change what you've got there. So I'm going to click off of the mask because that blocks what I'm trying to see. 
Um, from here, I can change the color. See, that's how we make them all those different colors. Um, you know, obviously that's very character-like. That is not very natural. Oh, but that is oh so pretty right there, that color. Um, but again, that looks like colored contacts. It doesn't look true to her. So usually on a real photo, when I'm not doing a character where I want these eyes to look not fake, but more like a character, um, you know, I want to keep them as true to her as possible, but I just want them to pop. So um, I usually don't adjust the color much. Um, so we're going to put these on zero right now. Um, the exposure before I had lowered that, so put that on zero. Right now the contrast is up a ton. And the clarity is up, so we'll lower that a little bit. The blacks, I don't need those. So if I lower the saturation back to zero, you can see this is kind of her natural eye color um, with the sharp so you, I can sharpen it up, down, like that. Um, the clarity, so make them stand out more, which I like that. Um, I am going to raise the saturation a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about, it, that kind of pretty grayish green that's so pretty. Um, I am going to sharpen them a little bit more. Um, the exposure, I'm going to bring it up just a tiny bit just to brighten them a little. The blacks, if you um, if you raise that number, it's going to make the, anything that's black on the area you've selected, it's going to make it lighter. If you go this way, it'll make any black darker. Um, so we'll keep that pretty much the same. You can adjust the contrast. I think that's good. Um, again, if I wanted to change the color, I could adjust the temperature and tint up here. I think all I'm going to do is the saturation a little bit more, the clarity. Usually when you raise the clarity and the, the sharpness, um, a lot of times it darkens the eyes a little bit, so I kind of offset that with the exposure just a bit. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Um, the other thing that I could do is go in with a second adjustment, so I'm going to go to New and whiten the, the whites of the eyes. So. I just kind of go around these. And you'll see um, when I toggle off of this screen or close this screen out, you'll see how much quicker this is to do um, with our Photoshop actions. However, um, changing the eye color to a different eye color, um, this is still what I would recommend. So, um, let's see here. I'm going to remove these overlays so they're out of my way. So right now, you know, making the eyes white, obviously that's ridiculous. Right there, um, I'm going to erase a little bit of it off of. You don't want it to be on her skin. Usually, when you're lightening it, if you pick up some of the skin, it looks really, really fake. So I'm going to add a little bit more, just right up in here, and a tad bit down there. Okay, just to give you kind of an idea, and again, that looks super fake. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can get a better idea from farther away. A lot of times it's easier to look. Go back to the adjustment brush, make sure that you're on the right pin, which is this one, and I take those back off so they're out of my way. Um, <laughs> she looks creepy like that. So this is um, this is kind of normal here. So I'm going to brighten it some. I don't need the contrast. Clarity will do a little bit. You don't need the saturation because it's white. You want to keep it white. And if there's any kind of red or yellow in her eyes, if you raise the saturation, you're going to see that a lot. And we'll we'll sharpen it up some. Um, so this is the part where I would maybe raise that exposure a bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. I'm going to hit OK. So now you can see that's the before and that is the after. So it makes her eyes pop, still keeps her eye color. Nothing has changed like that, um, but it just makes them stand out more. 
not so um, grayish looking. So the other option um, is to use our Photoshop action. So we have this collection, the Live and Viv Retouch Collection, and it is all about retouching um, faces, portraits, smoothing skin, making the eyes pop, um, fixing hair, all of that stuff like that. It is super helpful. So um, what I'm going to do, and you'll see in a um, tutorial that I have coming up, how to make skin um, kind of, you know, like change the skin tone so it's not so muddy looking. A lot of times, like for instance her, right now her skin tone looks good, but when I play this um, action and brush it on and then I click, you know, before and after, it's amazing what a difference it makes. You don't realize that the skin tone can look kind of grayish until you, um, until you play this action. Um, same goes with like fixing, you know, all these cute little flyaways. I like some of them, but some I might get rid of. Um, so those are some upcoming tutorials. So on to the eyes again. Um, so usually with this, I start with the eye primer. So that kind of gives me like a base. And I'm on my brush there. And what I'm going to do is zoom in over to her eyes. I want to make sure the opacity is set at 100. I always go full on at the beginning and then adjust it as needed. So what this is doing is, is sharpening everything, adjusting kind of the clarity, bringing everything out. Um, so we've got that one. And then I use um, Twinkle in Her Eyes, which sharpens the iris. And these are things that you might not be able to see at first as I'm brushing them on until um, I fix those. So when I created this collection, it was Vivian's blue eyes, and like I said, now her eyes have kind of changed a bit. But that's to enhance blues. Olivia's brown eyes, if you want to enhance brown color. Um, brighten the eye white. So let me scroll over so you can see this. So this one right here. So basically what we just did in um, Camera Raw you can do with this action and it's already you know the settings are already set you don't have to try to play around in camera raw and figure out okay what do I need my exposure at what do I need my sharpness at what do I need all these this is already set for you and this is going to be a little bright at first to brush on usually when an, again when I'm doing a character I will make these a little more bright to stand out um, before a real portrait I want them to look more natural Okay, and then um, if there was red in her eyes, which there isn't, I would play this one or yellow. Um, the, the lash drama, I love this. Um, you have to be careful, especially with little kids, that you don't get carried away. You don't want them to look like they have, a, you know, makeup or anything like that on. And again, um, if it is a character, that's something that's totally different. So sometimes, you know, my kids, and I know that this is getting really dark. Um, Again, sometimes my kids will look like they have makeup on, but those are generally for the character ones. So obviously this is way too dark. I've brushed it all on at full full speed there. Even though she still looks adorable, it's, it's way too much for a four-year-old, almost five-year-old. So um, what I'm going to do is lower the opacity of my brush and brush it back off some in some areas. So usually the eye that is turned away from the screen has more of a shadow, so it's going to pick up more of that um, action when you're playing it. So you usually have to brush off more on that one. Oh, I guess I need to make sure the right that I have my black brush and not my white brush. So I'm brushing it off a little, checking it off on, making sure I, I don't have it too much anywhere. I don't want her to look like she has eyeliner on. I just want to make the lashes stand out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to brush it off a little bit on these. And I will go in with, um, after I smooth her skin and take out any little, you know, little spots and stuff, um, I'll do the dodge and burn and do a little bit of that around her eyes as well. If you don't know, if you aren't familiar with dodge and burn, I have a tutorial on that. Okay. 
think that's pretty good. So it doesn't look like she has makeup on, but yet her eyes pop. Um, so the bright eyes, those are really bright right now. Let me zoom out just a tad. Okay, so if you go within the um, action itself, you can see, okay, here's the part that whitens it. Here's the one that purifies the color. And then this is the one that makes it really bright. So instead of lowering, you know, the whole action, like lowering the opacity, you can just click on the part of that action that you want to lower. So the brightening part is the one I want to bring down a bit. Um, about like that. Okay. And then, so now you can see before and after, this is the sharpening one. Um, you know, her eyes are already pretty sharp, so it didn't do a ton, but this is the primer. So when I group all these together, so you can see before and after. So that's how her eyes pop. Also, um, this so this one's the camera raw. That's before, after. This is the action before and after. And what I like about the action is that it really keeps her true eye color um, versus you can see on the camera raw um, when we went that method, it kind of made the eye color a little more blue-green. So, I mean, really either works. Um, I will include link, a link to where you can purchase um, this set of actions if you are interested, but you can certainly use the camera raw method if you prefer, um, or you can go in and do dodge and burn, which would take forever, do those types of things as well. So, um, I hope that clears things up for you on how to make the eyes pop on your subject. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, which will be um, how to make the skin our skin tone um, look more fresh. So thanks for watching guys. video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course subscribe to our channel. 